Hey, welcome back. The next plugin we are looking at is Crafter. This is your product development coach. You can ask anything about uh, best practices and get top guru's product thinking. So I've enabled this plugin and uh, I've installed and enabled this plugin. And let's see what this plugin can do. So this plugin is designed to provide information about product practices to product development so that you can tailor your questions according to specific information you are seeking. So this is uh, these are the three things you can do with it. You can ask questions. So you can ask questions related to product development. The plugin will provide you answers on the best practices from the reputable sources. So basically you can ask how should I document my product requirements if you ask it it is going to give you some links for that with your answer and while this runs let's look at the next one so explore best practices can give you a curated list of product development best practices this can help you gain valuable insights to improve your uh, product development skills and write clear product description so if you are a technical writer or if you are into uh, tech marketing this plugin might be useful for you. You can assist you in writing clear and concise product documentation. This can ensure your product is well documented and easy to understand. So basically it gives you all of it uh, from what we asked. So tailor your requirements to your organization. It calls PRD. So if you have worked in uh, product management or uh, as a product manager, you know generally people have a PRD for the product they are working on and handle key elements so every product document should at least contain a detailed description of the problem you are talking about and user stories so you have to give the use cases where this product would be used and how they are going to use it and what are the deliverables for it avoid inconsistency so whenever you are writing your product you have to be consistent with it so if you are following a naming convention if you are following a writing style it should be consistent for most of it so collaborate so leverage your company's hive minds to continuously improve your ideas and solve the problems and share the product development regularly and encourage a culture of open conversation and use a road mapping tool. So a spreadsheet is not sophisticated enough tool for road ma mapping product development. You can use a tool while uh, something like Jira or Confluence is what of Confluence is what you can use and document the process. So once you are done with the process. You can always document what you went through or lessons learned in that process. So here are some more example prompts. So after that, let's assume what are the best practices for user testing in your product development. And all these prompts will be available to you in the description. If you are interested, you can go ahead and try them out. So this is going to give you uh, the data here. So use your own product as a product developer you should use uh, you should be the one to first test your product and connect with your end user so if you are building a b2c product you can actually get some beta testers uh, to do it and monitor the performance metrics basically you can identify the metrics so a b testing is what you can use to capture those metrics and select the right number of users so you could pick the uh, your focus group for the users you want to test it so that they cover a wide demography and prioritize minor requirements so even for well-established products testing and experimentation is essential usability testing once you have your product you basically have to test your uh, this so for web products people use selenium or you can use load runner to do it and avoid confirmation bias list down your assumption before you start your research and seek evidence to falsify rather than confirm them and iterate based on the user feedback and similarly you can uh, look at the uh, other prompts too so let's move on to the last one what are the key elements to consider when creating a product roadmap so i won't run uh, i won't execute all the prompts i'll execute some of them but let's see we are going to cover a good representative uh, set of this and basically you could also do what are some common pitfalls in product development and how would you avoid them yeah i won't uh, go through each one of them because it would be repetitive and i've already done for a couple of them 
so what i will do is uh, i will attach a medium article or i will try to have uh, this prompts uh, link shared with you but the only problem is if my cache is full i do have to clean up so this won't be available once that's the scenario so i would probably try to uh, attach this uh, output for each one of them in the ppt itself so that you can review it and let me know what you think or you can try it out if you have chat gpt plus you can try this out yourself and similarly you could also ask what are some effective methods for gathering user feedback during product development so yeah i think uh, it says trying to solve multiple problems uh, starting uh, on assumptions lack of passion not getting real time feedback fear of course correction and operating with uh, a product mindset moving too quickly not clearly defining the problem insufficient market research yeah those are some of it and what are the effective methods for user feedback during the product development and this should give you that and this would be the last prompt i would be doing in the video and i will have this uh, i will have all of this attached with uh, the images so you can look up uh, rest of the prompts or if you have time you can go ahead and execute them yourself so that's all i wanted to cover thank you for joining